Mm. Can't wait to get home, enjoy a nice dinner, you know what I'm saying? Like, seriously. Alright. Oh, buddy. Where is he? Huh. Oh, well, whatever. Can't. Oh. What the fuck is this thing? Freaking adorable looking thing. Alright. It's kinda. Whoa. Okay, something doesn't seem right here. Something seems rather unusual. Uh. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot to plug in my laptop. <laughs> hey, how's it going, guys? I'm EC from ECTV, and today we'll be. Oh, wow. That sun reflection, though, man. Anyways, today we're going to be reviewing the Chisel and Bits mod. So, basically, what this mod is. I just accidentally took a screenshot. Anyways. What the Chisel and Bits mod is, is it basically allows you to, like, edit the 3D models for things, like, in game, or, like, to create your own masterpieces or whatever. So, like, for example, these fences, and, like, uh, this doorbell looking thing. And you can make pretty much literally anything with this. Like, I made, like, some kitchen utensils, a realistic looking crafting table, really cool looking furnace. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. I just have to show you this mod, and basically what's in this mod is it it's it's basically just like a basically allows you to manipulate blocks. And I have some extreme depth of field. I want to change the shaders, but I'm afraid that the recorder might mess up anyways. So, to start off, we're going to need four sticks. That was not supposed to happen. And two diamonds are right, because with Oh wait, and a grass block. Why a grass block, you might ask? For demonstration purposes, obviously. So right here we got a diamond saw. Alright, now, if I'm right clicking right now. Right. It doesn't do anything. Left click, it just destroys a block. But, if I put said grass block here, then but bam I'll just put an infinite amount. Just put that right there. And I'll just put this one right there. And then I'll just put this one right there. Just like that. And now we got a bunch of new blocks. So we got this right here. This right here. Which is basically the same thing, just put off to the side. Then we got a grass slab looking thing. Uh, so that's pretty cool. But then we have the chisels all right so this is a lot less expensive all right so looking in the wrong one again stick one stick all right and one diamond will give us the diamond chisel and basically you can only use it on tools which uh which like i, c I can use this on blocks which the diamond pickaxe can mine Alright, but if I was using a stone one, I could use ones that only a stone pickaxe was able to mine, alright? So I wouldn't be able to manipulate obsidian with a stone chisel, alright? So anyways, once we press alt, there's this huge menu, alright? So we have large cube, so we can, like, uh, we can basically do whatever we want with this. Just curve, curve out blocks, so large cube, then we can go to medium cube, then small cube. And then, go to like a half the size of a cube. And let's just do that. Actually. Then we can go to a quarter size of a cube. Cut, cut chunks out of this. And then, we can go to an eighth the size of a cube, which is like one pixel in this texture pack because it's 8 by 8 inspired. And then we can go to like the same material, so... Basically, like, uh, if I had, like, a grass block with, uh, with, like, a. also you can press shift 2 to see the, the block, basically. So, if I had this with a bunch of, uh, wooden planks bits in here, and then I just did that, but bam, just like that. It's basically, like, uh, kind of like the paintbrush. 
if you know what I'm saying. Like, then draw, draw in region, which allows you to basically draw a region. But bam, just like that. And let's see what happens if I highlight the entire block. Oops, it disappeared. And then connected material. So this is like a plane for like the connected material or whatever. Alright. And so basically. Oh, geez. Alright, but if we did this, then you can see how they're connected. Alright. Then it gets rid of those. Just like that. Alright. Then connected plane. This is basically like a. Like it doesn't matter which block somebody's using. It just doesn't care which material it is. It's just gonna do that. Alright. But. But if we got like a this going through just like that, then we got like a this type of thing going on. It'll only it'll only raise the plane that's connected. Uh, so it won't really do anything else. Alright, uh, voice kind of cracked right there. Anyways. Then we have plane, which is just a plain, plain thing. Then we have line, which doesn't matter which way you're facing. Uh, so, let's say I was facing all the way over here, right? And I clicked right here, it would still make a line through that, which we can actually see through. So, do this. Bam. Then we have a single bet, which is just single bit. And you can pretty much make whatever you want with this. Like, you can, you can, it's basically like, the same thing as building something in regular vanilla Minecraft, but, but on a much smaller scale. Like, the amount of things that you can do with this is just amazing. Like, seriously, I made, I made a freaking laptop, I made painting. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can pretty much make literally anything with this. There's even more to this, actually. We have the positive chisel design and the negative chisel design. We have the mirror chisel design, but I don't, I don't really know what the heck that does. Chiseled bit bag. We're just gonna get like a basically like a place to store all you bits. So we're just gonna just gonna review this first. So chiseled bit bag, basically a large chest, but it's empty, right? Now what you can do with this is you can take these, drag them right in there, and then they they pretty much only take like one spot in your inventory, which is pretty cool. So all those bits are inside one of one bag that takes up one spot in your inventory, and that's about it. Alright, and you can hold hold shift for details, basically just to see what's inside of there. And also get it out, right click to open it up. You can press shift and you can see which blocks they correspond to. And oh yeah, by the way. And then double click that to delete everything. Just like that. Everything that's in the bag will be deleted too. Alright. So anyways, let's say we're working on I don't know, like a I'm gonna go inside real quick. And a crafting table design. Alright. So this is my crafting table. It also it, it corresponds to the direction you're facing in. Unless it's like all symmetrical and it kinda doesn't, but anyways. Say you want to rotate it. Alright. I can rotate it on this axis, meaning that it's going to rotate just like that, and then it's going to face down, and it's going to face that way. Alright. And then, I can make it rotate this way, and I can make it rotate. For some reason, I can't make it rotate that way. Oh yeah, actually, you know what? It won't rate, rotate, because it's symmetrical. So, what we're going to need to do is, basically, let's get out a chisel. Alright, let's make a little bit of change. Alright, and then, 
But bam, it's gone. But now it is right here. And then now it's right here, right here. And it'll basically just rotate. And in that way, you can basically like rotate your structure as you're sculpting it. S sculpting it, I mean. And then we have the positive chisel design. What this does is, when you right click on something, it basically like a uh, places that certain block. And then we have the negative chisel design. So, so basically, if we were to replace a bunch of leaves, we'd see like a eh. You can't really see it that much with the leaves, but. But like, uh, this random grass block, alright. It will replace it with all the negative space. Alright, so pretty much... Just copies and pastes all the air, but it keeps the... The original block the same. Which is really cool. And, and I'm sorry that I couldn't figure out how to get the... The mirror... Block going, but... Pretty sure it's not too interesting. But anyways, there you go. You have this, which is pretty much all the blocks that you've... Created. At least for a little while, and ba bam. Now we have a laptop. And the reason why it has this red line next to it is because because of that right there. The bed thing. It counts the whole block as the same model. Which isn't really that much of a problem, to be honest, but but you know, you might have to do a little tweaking to get everything exactly the way you want it. So basically I'm gonna show I'm just going to show like how you can use this to your potential art. So look at this chimney right here. It, 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 for vanilla Minecraft, it looks pretty good. I mean, let's be honest. You can do the command block thing in vanilla Minecraft, right? But, but seriously, like, I'll put a link to that video. Maybe at the end of the video, but anyways. See this, right? We can make it look a lot better. Alright, uh, so, we're going to take a block of cobble. And we're gonna take a chisel, alright. And then we're gonna select plane, and then we're gonna kind of whittle it down until we get exactly what we want to see in this chimney, alright. And then we're gonna use the drawn region. And, then, and I'm gonna have to stop this. So there we go. We're gonna just stop that. So then we can actually see what we're doing. So anyways, you can basically just see this. And there we go. And then maybe we can use the connected plane to kind of to kind of whittle that down. And then what we're going to do is we are going to use the large cube maybe We're just gonna get rid of pretty much everything that's blocking our view. Eight size cube, alright. All too small. Half size cube. And then we're basically gonna fill all the negative space with. with, uh. with coal. To give it that, that, like a. a really dark look. Alright. And, nope, actually, you know what, let's undo that. But you can see that fills only the negative space. So, yeah, doesn't really replace anything. Alright, so anyways, let's do drawn region. Kind of like a 3D pen in Minecraft, actually. But anyways, there we go, just like that. And then we can erase it pretty much the same way. And there we go. In a few minutes we've created an already great looking chimney. Alright. Now let's turn this baby back on. See how it really looks. See what potential it has. Okay. There we go. Now it looks really, really cool actually really realistic looking and I'd say it's a great mod to download especially with shaders that'll be pretty much about it guys thank you so much for watching I'm EC from ECTV hold on actually if I say out and peace you know because I usually like to do that even in some of my earlier videos anyways 
we're getting too off topic here. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and check out my my straw poll link in the description to see like uh to to like uh vote on what you want to see next. So there we go, guys. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm EC from ECTV out and peace.